ki ma go ni jore o ta go go no ko no bia ko i go go no e jore o no bia me bu me o ki o to we no dia me o na ti e e bu me no fi an ta 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 o ki o to we no bo ge va me o na ti e O ti a me ne su ne nye ne pi Gye o to wè nou po gye a me o Na ti e A o ke va va sa ga na ze wo so ya ti yo ti re o Gye to da fo wè ni ri a me o Na ti e E su no ka ge le O ga yi mye re in kod I ti a ni ya si ge
Tenho um pavo a pôr na rua, nem que lá tinha ver que a minha anda na rua. Eu nem eu vi logo e que a boi o. Ni eu reina muita neto. Eu nem eu vi logo e que a boi o. Ni eu reina muita neto. Eu nem eu vi logo e que a boi o. Ni eu reina muita neto. Eu nem eu vi logo e que a boi o. Great things, family scattered abroad. Hope we are all doing great. If so, let us praise, like I always love to say, be heard in the four corners of the earth, just as Psalm 150 says, let everything that has breath praise Yehovah. Do you have breath in your nostrils? Therefore, let his praise be heard. All right now, family. Greetings from Abbe Yehoah to every one of us. I mean the light. Okay? The people of the book. Hmm? So, so dear unto the heart of Abbe Yehoah. Said, these are people after my heart. Touch not my bride. We are the apples of Yehoah's eyes. We are the reason for cross. We are the reason Abbe Yehoah is become merciful father. Hmm? We are the reason of Abbe Yehovah's throne without us. Mm -mm. No throne for him. No praise, no worship, mm -mm. no cross. Okay, we, we can't even talk about how glorious, lovely, wonderful he is. So in us, he displayed the power of his infinite mercy. So we are the reason Abbe Yehovah, of, of, of Abbe Yehovah's throne. Aren't you glad that you are one of his kingdom? <laughs> Don't be lost to the kingdom of his obolism. The toto e mababalism. Who cares in the stupidity? Mm? The kingdom of salt and water. Dead people's kingdom. Mama salt and water. Mama bag, so, bag of salt and water. Hello. <laughs> Mama Indian Ocean. I throw a salute, dear. <laughs> Mama bag of salt and water. Hmm, big bag of salt. I'm a wire gag, you be a wire. Why am I member? Come, I have a why am for why am I member? All right, I think let me throw this at, at the Yuri. No need to be even missing the water and the salt together. You know, there is a river called Red Sea, it is a salty river. Okay, you people can tell your Yuri to fly over there and get some for you guys. So no need to be doing the mystery. This is already missed, you know, natural. <laughs> By supernatural or a mystical power. The toto e ma baba lizzy. Mm, ma baba. You want to take people to heaven. Throw salt and water. That is a ma baba lizzy. You are doing the queen ma baba. Mm, the toto oh gazing. Mm, you want to take people to heaven. Throw dead people. That is oh gazing. Great lie. You are of your father, the devil. The will of your father that you would do. John chapter 8 verses 44. He said, you are of your father, the devil. And you desire so much to do the will of your father. He was a liar. <laughs> the father of all liars. No truth in him. Mm. Okay, is it? The total crazy. Okay, is it? That is stupidity. Stupidity in the highest place. Comment section blocked as well. But for you to dislike, uh, I want to allow you to display your anger at me, okay? So I opened that session, not even because of you, but because of the people of the book, in case they listen to it, of course. The, Father, the, the, the Holy Spirit is the one to convince, you know, to convert them into the light. It's going to convince them, save it, in order for you to go through it again and again and over again. This is sound doctrine. I'm not preaching myself. <laughs> I preach the Bible. Mm -hmm. So if you are a normal human being, just take all the scriptures, sit down, and construct. That is how city pox behave, but the village pox. <laughs> Come and see so too. Now, I want to dig into it like I promised in the other video. I don't care your insult. You're saying like, man, the, you know, they persecute my four forefathers. I don't expect you to be nice with me. Mm -mm. Dig it into your own mystery, the mystery of dead people. How, how I was even wondering, I've already dead, done 27 videos, no insult, not even one dislike. I said, uh uh, are we friends? Are we getting along? So, so easy without not dragging. When 
Abeyo wana releases the mystery. Iyore one of Paris and Idian yes get begging money at Ring Road Mysteries exposed. Pam, come and see fire. <laughs> come that that message. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It was so. Uh, in fact, it was a blast in the kingdom of serpent alias in code. Indian yes again in code. Indian yes again. <laughs> All right now, hello. Are you ready for this again? Let's start. So, family, in case if there is a room, enough chance, therefore I'm gonna be recording the 14 powers. You can also do your common research. You can find this in the world histories. Okay, go on YouTube. Go to Google. You're gonna find it the only that you get ready to study. Like me, I can't read it do. So I go to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Then I listen from them that is recording it. The people that can actually read a do. I can't write a do. I can't read a do. I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Right. But I have what it takes to dig into the Bible. Mm -hmm. So that is why I also acknowledge the effort of our brother and sisters that indeed can read a do. You know, they will just you know begin to record it, reading it from history. So you also go to YouTube, you're gonna find some. That is why I get mine and I jotted all down 14 powers. So in case there is no room to record it all, just go to the mystery that throw fire in the camp of Yuri. If you see insult, what name have they not called me? Old Ashawo. Repented Ashawo. The other one said retired Ashawo. <laughs> These are village pucks, okay? The other one said reti retired Ashawo. The other one said repented Ashawo. The other one said old Ashawo. Do you see? Out of the table of contest. So that is the reason why comment section blocked. What is holy is not given to ducks. I leave the comment section. Let us, you know, share smiles together. We are in the table of contest. Come, let us discuss it together. And be quoting. And me, I also, I will be quoting. That is how we learn from one another. These people is not so. What does old Ashawo has to do with, um, at the, you know, explosion? Exposing the, the, the deeds of the wicked ones. What I'm doing is not judgmental, not at all. It's not in my power to judge. What I'm doing, it is called expose, sure. Expose the lies of the devil. Okay? That is what I'm doing, actually. It's so unfortunate that you, you can't get it. You miss the point. You are not getting it. The other one said, uh, Jezebel. Oh, no. I said, okay. He said, yes. The other one said, I've tested your spirit. He said, yes, yes, yes. I've already tested your spirit. You know how the spirit of God, and you don't carry the spirit we carry. I said, since you are being sorting your head, not me, eh? It is only this first time you just, you, you have spoken a truth for me, you know, to deliberate on. I said, of course, I don't carry the spirit of Indian Yesige. I don't carry the spirit of God of Europe. Can I do that? The dead people? No, I carry the one that died and raising from the grave. He said, I was once dead. Now I'm alive eternal. That is the one I have in spirit. I said, indeed, you can't find me in your graveyard. He said, why seek ye the living among the dead? Indian Yesige, Indian Okbuhuane, Immortal. They are all dead. So why should I be found there? I said, confirmation, since you have been pouring out nonsense, it is only this one time you spoke accurately. I don't carry the spirit of dead people, okay? You can't find me among Indian Yesige. Mm -mm, among your uh 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 Fiat! All right now. With this being said, let us begin to release hammer again upon the witches of Edo, Flash, Jezebel. Because I called her Jezebel, they said I'm also a Jezebel. No, Jezebel is a mere, mere, mere slayer, prophet of your war slayer. I'm not slaying nobody. I'm just digging into the truth and exposing the lies of the wicked. Go and read uh, 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 First Kings chapter 18. You're going to find that Jezebel was a mere slayer. When you hear, assuming it was Jezebel's days, eh? Me digging into the truth, she will go in search of me and behead me. That was what she was doing. She don't want nobody to talk about the truth. Only to be, dis you know, displaying and distributing lies. Fly uh, adultery of devils everywhere. That is what Jezebel does. Go and read it. That is the attitude of Jezebel. Okay? Uh, do I have that kind of character? Of course, no. I I'm the daughter of Zion. Talking about the word of my father. You call me a, ret a retired prostitute. <laughs> what the that, that is, I cannot dispute. I never said I was a, a born saint. I never said my father and my mother was a saint. I, I never did that. No. Once retired prostitutes saw the raising king first. That is who I am. I am Maria Magdala, the one you call Mary Magdala. That is who I am. 
once prostitute, retired, old cargo. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not angry. Okay, that was my past life. Uh -huh. But if you said I'm still doing it now, only that will release fire on you because what Yahuwah has already cleansed, you can't call it unclean. I'm cleansed. If it might be in Yahushua, all things have passed away. Behold, everything become new. I am a new creature, born again. That is why you can even say retired. Yeah, that was my past. That is why you can even say old. Yeah, that is my old past. That is why you can even say um, repent. I repented. I shall. That is how they were calling. You see, when I look at some, I delete some. I also leave some. But what I'm doing these days, I just erase it. I don't even read it. I just when I see new comment. I erase it, okay, because it's not important. They are all filth. They are total stupid. I'm is a bull is I'm is my baba lazy food for that 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 use to sacrifice. That is the food of no gods. Food that is you are all food. Ninety two percent are all food that is already been sacrificed to gods. Anyway, I don't have your time. Let me dig into the mystery of today. Let me dig into the mysteries of today. Here we are again in the heavenly courtroom of Abba Yehovah with this powerful message titled for you and me. You are one of Paris, the, mis the mystery Babylon of Edo's land. Okay? Exposed. And after this, I'm also going to do another message right again. Because when I sit down, Abba Yehovah, I, I thought I was done. Uh, uh, uh. Now, the other mystery after this, I'm also going to do that today, upload it today. It's been titled, uh, the mystery, you are one of Paris, uh, 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 sought a water uh, baptism at 2 a.m. Mysteries exposed. She's baptizing people 2 a.m. through salt and water. So as soon as I'm done with this, I, I will throw that one out. I'm going to upload it to today. Today, no time to waste. We need our people. We need our people. That is the nature of this segment. But your wife said, no, don't stop. Talk about the baptism, the salt and water baptism. Talk about it. So immediately after this, I will do the upload of that one. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to up upload them separately, not together, because they are two different topics. Alright, so you heard the title of this already. Should I take it again? If you're one of Paris, the mystery Babylon of Edo's land exposed. Mystery Babylon is in Edo, okay? We put some on Alright, now let's get started. Ephesians 5, 11. And I have, and have, excuse me, and have no fellowship with the unfaithful workers of darkness. I don't have no fellowship with you guys. That was why when you said, I don't carry the spirits of a jury God, I said, in fact, first time, for once, you have spoken truth. Should I take it again? Ephesians 5, 11. And have no fellowship with the unfaithful workers of darkness, but rather exposed them. That's what I'm doing. I'm not judging. When you get to the white judgment throne, go and read it. Revelation 20, 15, uh, 10 to 15. Then you're going to stand on the white judgment throne. If your name is not being written in the book of life, you will be cast into the link of fire. That is what is called judgment. What I'm doing, does it look like that? Where is my chamber? Did I summon, summon you in the court of law? Did I pass and, you know, hit the, 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 the hammer, palm and sentence you to prison? What prison have I kept you? No, what I'm doing is exposure. So I have no, no fellowship at all with the workers of darkness. Rather do what? Expose them. Mm -hmm. That's what we are doing over here. Ephesians 6, again, 11 to 12. Put on the whole armor of Yehovah that ye may be able to stand against the devil, uh, against the wise of the devil. I've already done that. The whole armor of Abba Yehovah, it is from Genesis way down to Revelation, which the very one I'm releasing on your head, Yuri. Two of listener. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So what is the, like I said, I cannot just go in search of a jury and eventually when I find her, I will begin to fight her, I will begin to fight her. No, the weapons are warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through Yehovah in pulling down strongholds, casting down imagination, captivating every demon that exalt himself against the knowledge of the cross and bring them all to the, to, to the total obedience of Abba That is 2 Corinthians 10 verses 4. Okay, so what is my weapon now? It is the whole armor of Yehovah. All right now, you see what I'm doing? The principalities. I'm fighting. This is spiritual jury. This is the one I'm fighting. He told that Esther. What I said, look at us. If she's a dark person, anyone that knows me on Facebook, I'm even lighter than your bastard, Yehovah. I'm even lighter than her. 
Everyone that knew me on Facebook knew I'm a very, 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 very far woman. Even to that extent, be lucky not to turn to, you know, those one, those things. <laughs> All right, I'm not after that. Call me dark. I don't care. Do I care? No. What I, what I'm after? To expose. as little shop. Mm -hmm. So we'll put some. Here I am. Hebrews chapter 9, 27. And as it is written, excuse me, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the word judgments. When you die, if you die being a righteous one, therefore, you, will be, you are sent into heaven. But when you die, being filled, paganism, you descend down to the pit. So let's check that out. It is appoint, appointed, but once to die. And after that, you simply face judgment. That's it. Here I am, Luke chapter 16. From verses 19, there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared luxuriously every day. These are the one that is descended to the pit because this is what he lived for. What shall they profit a man to get the whole world? Like Indian yesterday gained the whole world through mystical power and invented all demon, you know. In, all demo has already, you know, invested so heavily in her. Exactly what we also found it today in the Yuri. You know why Abeyewa allowed this ministry to surface again or to resurface again? Because believers has not yet exposed the evil, evil wicked power of Idian Yesige. That is why, because the judgment is on the last days. That is why Abeyewa allowed our ministries, you know, to resurface. Like the ministry of uh, Lord's wife, the ministry of such people. You see, it is a Yuri. The ministry of dead people, it is a Yuri. Like uh, Ezekiel for. 47, I think verses 11 said, the Mary and the Marishes won't be healed. They are going to be given to sort. And today we have already seen that sort ministries, okay? It's over here. In your sort and water ministry, it is prophetic. It is the event of the last days, mark of the beast. Now listen now. 20. There was a city beggar named Lazarus, which was led at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dust came and licked up his soul. You see now, listen now, 22. And it came to pass that the big beggar died and was carried by the angels into uh, Abraham's abundance. The rich man also died and he was buried. And in hell, did you get it? This is the two picture of it. And in hell, he lift up his eyes, be in torments, and seeth Abraham far off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Did you get that? And Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, and thou be tortured, tormented. Listen at the judgment. And beside, and beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf feast, so that they which would pass from thence, from hence to you, Cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from this. Did you did you, did you get that? Point? Did, did you get the illustration? Did you get this, the, 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 the the judgment? He said, "Now it then yes again glorify all this wicked deity and live so luxuriously in death. You die, you go to the pit. We see it already." And Lazarus died, you know, being a faithful one, even though life was so difficult, even though he can't even feed him so, even though he has to be, you know, eating from hand to hand, but still, still faithful unto Abihu, and remember that the better days of me is ahead of me. Even though I can't get it now, I will still get it life after here. You see, he died in suffering. Right away, he was being, you know, transformed to where he will be comforted. Now, worry about the rich man. To the pit. And the rich man said, okay, now send Lazarus because he couldn't send Father Abraham. You come because Father Abraham was one of the richest man in his own days. He couldn't talk to him. You see, poverty is a cause. He couldn't say, come and, you know, put your hand. This is how tough it is. Put your hand right now in the water. Just come and, don't, he didn't even say, bring me water to drink. Just come and cool my tongue. 
When you dip your hand, you come to hell, you put your me to descend to her. You are mad. <laughs> After I escape her, you want me to descend? No, you can't bring me down. He didn't even say, Father Avra, come and do it. He now asked the poor man, he was new. Hey, you know those days, you know you normally eat from my food, eh? The one I will spit up, pua, pua, puta, puta. And you will eat it. You know I was happy, either. In either way, I was happy. Hey, come also help me. Father Avra now said, no, there is a great gulf. A great valley that separates you from us. You can't come to us, we can't come to you. That is why I marvel of this uh, Christianity resurrection, Jesus' spirit resurrection. I marvel. When you die, it is to face judgment. If you die being a righteous man, you are sent into heaven. And if you, the angel is going to come, which is Michael, is the one to do that. And if you die being a filthy one, pagan, is he, glorified demon, you descend to the pit and meet them over there. Did you see? So it's ascending for Urina. It is a wicked demon masquerading themselves. Because it done yes again, then Opoho. It then Opoho will take her own life by her own self. In judgment, that one is going to stand. Because you are not the owner of that life. You are not the creator. You never create yourself. In judgment throne, they, that one she is going to stand and begin to judge. You are going to remember this message. And begin to judge the reason why she took her life by herself. She will be. She is gonna be charged, murderer, because she murdered herself. Okay, because you don't have no right to do that. So that one right will descend into the pit because she is a murderer. She killed herself. He done yes again with all forty demons. You can't send to heaven. But you never repent. You don't even know who is God. You descend to the pit. Likewise, the immortal. They are all paganism. You descend to the pit, and when you got there, you cannot ascend anymore. It is appointed once to die. After that, you face judgment. You see, when the rich man die, he, he faces judgment of the bottomless pit. And when the poor man die, he ascends to heaven. After death, he is to face judgment. There is no life to you be. Life where you ascend it, Daniel is against ascending to give you salt and water. No. No, no, no. Let's put some more. All right, I want to dig into the mystery Babylon, which is your ministries. It's a mystery. Okay, to 92, they don't know what it is. They are so dumb. Neosans, lunatics. You are all lunatics. You are all newsers. For you to be coming and be talking trash. You are newsers, lunatics. Anyway, that is who you are. In a nutshell, that is who you are. Judas, you can't repent. Pharaoh, you can't repent. He said for this reason. I had it. I created it only to destroy you. Listen, at Revelation 17. I want to read. And there came, okay, and there came one of the seven angels which heard the seven vows and talked with me saying unto me come hither i will shun unto thee the judgment of the great hall that sitteth upon many waters so what is waters let's scroll down to 15 before we come back right again you see seated upon many waters listen at 15 now in that said chapter revelation 17 15 and he saith unto me the waters which thou sawest where yeah, the hall the prostitute okay the hall sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues did you get that so those are what how did she sit no what the, what is the art of city relaxing you know meaning rulership meaning someone in authority meaning someone everybody give their attention unto meaning leaders meaning governing system meaning the head above it all that is the art of city ruling in power okay that is and these three dead people, they are not existing anymore. Like we read already. If you are smart, caught a glimpse. Who is using them now? It is the folly deity. The Indian SEG is being masked. Serpent, the high ranking angel, fell from glory. Okay. When you go to Isaiah chapter 6, it's being called who? Seraphims. What does that simply, simply mean? The fiery ones, they are blessed ones, and they stood above the seventh heaven. In another word, they are the covering of Abba Yehovah, which means they are of the authority, the true essence of Abba Yehovah. It is fire. See Ezekiel chapter 1 for that. He fell. A high ranking angel fell. Now, when in singular, is being called seraphs, meaning what? Fiery flying serpent. In Genesis 3, we see where he fell. So that is the one that is using Indian yesterday to cover up. And this one is the cherubims. Cherubims are like unto Messiah. You can also see that in Isaiah 14, 12 to 15. You can also go to Ezekiel 28 from 11 to 19. Cherubims, they are acting, in fact, they are acting 
as a Messiah, you know, to cover us. is our own covering. You know, Messiah goes to the cross, the biblical Messiah. This one also says she goes to the grave for, on the behalf of people. Now, this what I said, which is a, a, a mother, her offices was that uh, she was the first woman to open a daycare center, giving free people, giving people, uh, giving children free food. Remember, Yahushua said, let nothing st stand in the ways of children. And remember, I also said in uh, Matthew chapter 18, he said that, uh, Mm, except you coveted and be like that of a child. We are all children. You, the, you can't inherit the kingdom of heaven. Now, he said, don't long for the food that per perishes, rather long for the food that live eternal. That was why he said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every single word that preceded from their mouth of Yehovah. So that simply means to say the art of food has to be doing with you nourishing your physical outward and you nourishing your, your spiritual outward. So this woman now is, she is serving as a one that is going to be feeding you whether with physical food or with spiritual food. For you to open a daycare center and say this, that is again another offices of the Messiah. So these are all folly deity. Not these three women. Don't get it twisted. It then yes again is gone. It then no no more existing. And likewise a motor. It is the demo fully deity that is using them to masquerade. Okay. Always get that. Now what is the urine as a food? Is your all these three characteristics we found in the urine because all these three demo they are with her. Now what is the characteristics? She is teaching you that is food, spiritual food. Do it like this and do it like that. That is the spiritual food. Nourishing your physical body and your spiritual body. Making you to be fat, the salt and the water. And she also gave you an appointment, appointed time to be doing it. That is, she is nourishing, guiding your spirit being and your physical being. Because when your spirit being is being guided by a deity, it's going to be reflecting your outward appearance. The one day I call it the deliverance. No, you are not being delivered. You see snake coming and all snake is entering in. You see object coming. Mm -mm, rather, that is what biases you. It's entering in. That is the tricks over there. He said, do not marvel for serpent. Uh, the devil masquerade themselves as an angel of light. Light. Okay. Meanwhile, they are darkness. But they are going to mask up themselves. To be say we are happy. Rather, they are destroying. Broad is the way. Wide is the gate. That leads to destruction. He said many people has already gone through it. Mm -hmm. All right, now we go come back to uh because this is where the Babylon came from. Uh, uh Revelation seventeen and gate two. Now with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. You see, that is why they always talk about genitals, 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 reproductive organ. They are vagina and their penis. He said with whom this wicked woman. Has made the, the kings of the earth to commit fornication with her, with the folly deity. Listen, now. he said, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of a fornication. That is what they are pouring on me. You are old prostitute, retired prostitute, uh, 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 repented prostitute. No, that is what they are trying to use their offices to rob me. Uh, uh, no, that is not allowed here. Sorry now. So he carried me away in the wind, in the in the in, in in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sat upon a scarlet colored beast, of a colored beast which is red. What is red according to Bible? Sin. Isaiah one fifteen. He said, "Your hands is full of blood." And Isaiah one eight. He said, "Although your sin is as red as uh, scarlet, uh, crimson, crimson. Excuse me, crimson. Come and let's face it. I will face it. Okay." So, which means our authority is iniquity. Because this scarlet beast is the one carrying the woman. Mm -hmm. Full of names. Okay, right now. And I saw a woman sit upon a, color, a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy having seven hairs. Okay? And seven and ten horns. Now, what is their heads? Mystery Babylon, like the title is. This mystery Babylon, our iniquity is a mystery. Her ministry is a mystery. Okay? Now, the seven heads simply represent the 7,000 years of their rings. Six head is already gone. Only one head left. And this one head that is left, every workers of iniquity is dragging this just one head, which is a thousand years to reign. The Bogabo, they are occultism, they are dragging it. 
the Freemasonry, they are occultists in their dragony. The Illuminati, they are occultists in their dragony. The Babalawo, they are dragony. Iyori is dragony. The Christian, don't, don't, they are not ruled out. They are dragony because Islam is the one to consummate all this dragon power. The uh, civil rulers, they are dragging it. Anything that contradicts the royal law simply means they are dragging for the one authority, one left. Because seven is already clocked out, 6,000 years is gone, only one to go. But Islam is the final one to take it up. You see, Tehos, Tehos simply means symbolize strength. It symbolizes their power of authority, of rulership. I know this is deep. Puck is not going to get it. And I, need that. I don't want you to get it. Because Abba Yawa said, be listening, but you cannot understand. Be see, you cannot persevere. He said, if you understand that you persevere, I will not come and heal you. No, I don't want to heal you. No, the children of the devil must to go to their father. Now, listen. Now. What verses? Uh, he said they agreed to give their authority to them. Oh, where is it now? Is it 13? Okay, listen now, verses 13. He said this, the seven uh, uh, horns and ten, ten crowns simply mean, they are being ordained for that 7,000 year crown. That is why they say crown doba or crown prince. Yes, they are being crowned, anointed to carry it out against their own people. It is being called blood venger. Listen, that is Islam for the one serving. Verses 13. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. So what is the beast? It simply means the beast, uh, the beast system. It simply means the system of the beast. The system of the beast is to say... Would you walk against the royal law, the system of heaven? That is the beastly system. The Babylonian system, it is the beast system. Every other one that contradicts the royal law, raising the dead people, praying to people through dead people, it is the system of the beast. And the flesh of the beast is on its way coming, which is the Sharia law to rule for, for a thousand, to convert all of you to Islam, or your head being chopped off. Okay? So this one left head, like I saw, Yura said she was having seven heads. Go and listen to the one I just did not too long. The 40 demonic power. Yuri, one of Paris, 40 demonic authority uh, from dead India exposed. Go and listen to it. All is being named out there. All snakes. And see the torture of her as well. Revelation 12, 3. You also see the, the dragon with seven heads. Revelation 13, 1. You also see the beast with seven heads. It is confirmed after the mouth of three, two or three witnesses. Testimony has already been established. Here is it now. Revelation 70, again, we come back to verses 5. Okay, 5 now. And upon our foreheads was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the murder of high lots and abominations of the earth. Did you get that? Mysteries. So, in your ministry is a mystery of from Babylon, from the pit of hell. Mm -hmm. Now here come the mysteries. This is voodoo, okay? <laughs> you see the two marks? You see the two marks? Giant, giant voodoo was being buried over here, according to history. This is the hall of Babylon. The ministry is here. <laughs> the ministry is already here, so let's put some more. <laughs> oh, my father, why won't you fight me? <laughs> Dealing into the ministries. Of your secrets, authority. Why won't you fight me? Call me names. No, oh, understood very well. Now you see where we are coming from. Revelation seventy. If I said she's the, if she's a mother of high lords, plural. So that is the all kinds of religion that is dragging the one authority left. There are one head left. Okay, your is also in, included. And this wicked deity is found in a door. So this is a door mystery Babylon. It's in every four corner of the earth. Okay. You see, it's a mother of high lots, plural, and she's a mystery Babylon. So let's see what is going on in the mystery Babylon. Here we are at the book of Yasha, chapter 31, from verses 40 to 44. So the book of Yasha, the popular, popular royal law, which you carry, make references in three different occasions to the book of Yasha. Now, when you go to Joshua, the one you call Joshua, chapter 10, verses 13, it make references, it will say like this, is it not written in the book of Yasha? That is the leftover account. It will be found in the book of Yeshem. Now, when you also go to Second uh, Samuel, uh, verses, chapter one, verses eighteen, the same way. Also goes to uh, Second Timothy, verses three, chapter three, verses eight. It also make references to the book of Yeshem. So I'm reading now from the book of Yeshem. Listen now, thirty one, chapter thirty one, verses fourteen. And uh, Raquel, the one you call Richard, you will find this account. I think Genesis thirty. 
I think 30, oh my father, I should have sorted it out first. 34 or so, I'm not sure. Listen, now, I, I will check it later. And Raquel stole her father's images and she took from, uh, she took them and she concealed them upon the camel upon which she sat. And she went on, remember the hall of Babylon sat upon many waters, okay? 41. And this is the manner of the images in talking, in taking, listen, in taking. This is Babylon, okay? They were coming from Babylon into the Holy Land. And remember, mystery Babylon. Yore is the mystery Babylon of Edom. 41, I take it again. And this is the manner of the images in taking a uh, man who is the firstborn and slay him and taking the hair of his head and taking salt, <laughs> water, salt, water, water, I say, and sorting the head and anointing anointing it in oil then taking a small uh, a cup, uh, tablet of copper or a tablet of gold and writing the name upon it and placing the tablet under his tongue and taking the head with the tablet under the tongue and putting it in the house and lighting up lights before it you see you always light light upon the head of the dead people and lighting up lights before it and bowed down to it and at 42 and at the time when they bowed down to it he speaketh to them in all matters in all matters in christianity this day it is speaking in islam is speaking sivorula is speaking paganism is speaking isuri is speaking every anything that contradicts the royal law is speaking to them he said, at all, in all matters, speaking to them in all matters. He also gave them a set period of a time. He said, at the time, your own is two o'clock in the midnight. This is a person that died. They are praying through the dead person's head. Exactly what your is doing unto you. Pray through the dead people. All right. Now. Listen now. At all matters of it, through the power of the name which is, which is written in it. Remember, your is using three names. No, four. That is names of blasphemy. We see that from Revelation 17. It says in the cup, cup in her hand is full of names of blasphemy. You see the cup in the Yoris hand? You want to tell me this is normal? No, it is prophetic. 30, 43 now. And so make them in the figure of a man of gold and silver and gold. Figure of man, that is the three dead people picture in your is presenting unto you the figure of man. They appear as men unto you, dead people of God and silver. And go to them in times, no to them, that is two o'clock in the midnight. And the figure received the influence of the stars and tell them future things. Your is giving prophecy, she's prophetess, but of destruction. And uh, in this manner, we are the image which Raquel stole from her. Father and Raquel stole this image which we are her fathers in order that okay, I'm not after that. I just want to prove the images that is what Yuri is using from Babylon. Mm? Now, first Samuel 20, you can take it from 7 to you can read it all. I read now 7. Then saw and then said, So unto his seven, seek me a woman that had a, whiz, a, a witchcraft spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his seven said to him, Behold, there is a woman that had a witchcraft spirit at Edom. And saw this guy himself. So this woman, what she's doing, she's raising the spirit of dead people. And the dead people's spirit will be prophesied unto uh, them. Exactly what Yuri is doing. Hmm? Now I read 11 now. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up somewhere. Somewhere is there. So after that is to face judgment. Not somewhere, but the demon is going to use somewhere now to masquerade. As demon is using it, then yes, again, no? the other one to masquerade to you. It is a demon. Listen, now we will see the demon now. 12. And when the woman saw somewhere, he, she cried out with a loud voice. And the woman spoke to, uh, spoke to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art so, and the king, I'm not going to read them after the 14. Um, and, okay, no, no, yeah, still 13. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said, Unto so, I saw gas ascending out of the earth. Listen at 14. And he said unto her, What form is uh, his, uh, what form is of? And she said, An old man cometh up. And he is com uh, covered with mantle, and so perceived that it was Samuel, and he stepped down. Okay, but he bowed down 
himself to the gods that said there was somewhere gods no was he a god no he said that he looks oh he said it, it is it's a old man now genesis 3 the serpent now Gen uh, revelation 12 now that old serpent it is the dead that old serpent okay he said it's a god ascending and this old man that old serpent those these are how they masquerade so be, let you know dead you can live after uh, 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 uh. it is demons you uh, 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 uh that is revealing themselves unto you and uh, here is the bad news in it after uh saw so the dead demon race you sort of masquerade as and then show himself unto uh, 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 uh um so death appeared that is the death appeared to him two days or a day after him, he even make it clear, the spirit make it clear that you will die and your son is going to join you. I think three of his son or two of his son along with him, after a few days they die. Because it is Oguwu, it is death that appeared unto them. And that is what the jury is inv invoking upon you people. Here we are, Numbers 19, 11 to 12. You can read it all. He that toucheth the dead body of any man shall be unclean seven days. He shall purify himself with it on the third day, and on the seventh day he shall be clean. But if he purified not himself the dead third, the third day, then the seventh day he shall not be clean. What, what, what does that supposed to mean? He said when you touch it, don't pass it. Fear for you becomes unclean. This is how horrified it is not to even do whatever with the dead people. Because how? Why is he going to defy you? He said you are being defied. Now, that spirit that killed that person is going to follow you. Until you go and cleanse the water, they miss the word of Yahuwah. Until you go and wash and be clean, you are going to do it twice. Therefore, you won't be healed. Which means the spirit of the death is going to be following you all over. It simply means unclean spirits. That was why 1 Corinthians 15, 26 said, Death is the last enemy. He said the last enemy to be destroyed. It is called what? Death. It is very... It's not serious over here, okay? This is Daniel yes, again, so smart, eh? That was why he gave her ministry or his ministry to illiterates because he knew where he gave it to a learned somebody. So he's going to make it international. So that was why he gave the ministry to illiterate to make it locally. If he slammed head of this sort of water, they will chop off your head. Because when you are saying sort of water is the way to heaven, to Allah, your head will be gone. So that was why he Daniel yes, again, make it locally. Okay, so we want to do the other video right now. The mystery, the baptism of a yore or certain water. It simply means baptism, baptizing into dead people. Okay, so we want to also lay hammer upon that. All right, we just thank Abba Yehovah for his mercy towards his people among this dungeon. They are coming out. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! They are coming out. They are coming out. They are coming out through 